if you are looking for best AI model for coding, but you cannot afford Cloud Sonnet 4.5, there is another AI model which is like seven times cheaper than Cloud Sonnet 4.5. But in terms of performance at coding, this is one of the best AI model out there. I'm talking about GLM 4.6 by Z.AI. This 4.6 for year was just released a couple of days ago. Previously, there was GLM 4.5 and I created a video about it and I was really impressed by its performance at coding. The most amazing thing is you can access this AI model for as little as $3 per month. And for $36, you can use it for entire year. The reason why I'm recording this video about GLM 4.6 because all of you always are looking for some like cheapest possible model out there for coding. So it cannot go more cheaper because now you can use GLM 4.6 with something like Klein, RuCode, KiloCode or any of your famous open source free AI code editors and you can avoid paying $20 to cursor every month. So let's just dive deep and let me just show you what this model is actually capable of. So before you start, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and click on that like button as well. And also please hype this video. It will help us to reach more audience. So to access GLM 4.6, you can just go to z.ai or you can just click on the link in description. You can see there is this benchmarks comparison and GLM 4.6 beats not only Cloud Sonnet 4, but Cloud Sonnet 4.5 as well in all of these different benchmarks. That's just mind blowing. You can visit this Hugging Face page to learn more about it. But first, let me just show you what I just built using this amazing AI model. So I just conducted this, my favorite coding task, which is building a 3D Rubik's Cube simulator. And you can see in first attempt, it built a fully functional 3d rubik's cube simulator you can see i gave it this very detailed prompt and then it built this 3d rubik's cube simulator in just first attempt next i created this 3d visualization simulation i needed this 3d simulation for my youtube videos so i just gave it this detailed prompt and then it created this detailed 3d simulation within just like first attempt it worked just flawlessly without facing any issue and then i created this tool that can create preview for markdown files and even you can see this task it completed without any errors without any issues it completed this task in first attempt so that shows you the capabilities of this AI model because at this cost this AI model is just mind-blowing now let me just show you how you can use this AI model in Klein or RuCode or in KiloCode so to get your three dollars per month subscription just go to z.ai slash subscribe and here you can see you can access this AI model for only three dollars for entire month and if you want to buy the subscription for entire year you can get it for only thirty six dollars now to use this AI model with Klein or KiloCode or RuCode, make sure that you have installed any of these AI coding agents. If you want to use Klein, simply just make sure that you have installed Klein. And if you want to use KiloCode, just make sure that you have installed KiloCode. And after that, from API provider, make sure that you have selected ZAI. In my case, I'm going to use KiloCode, and you can see I have already selected GLM 4.6 in here inside KiloCode. Now let me just create an empty Nexus project, and then I will give it a task. So right now you can see I have just created this empty Nexus project. Now next step is I want to create an authentic authentication system for this Nexus project and to do that I'm going to use Clerk. So this is Clerk and this is probably the easiest way to build an authentication system. So what I'll do I'll simply just create a new application. I'll just name it GLM 4.6. You can just give it any name and now I can just like provide my sign in methods so it can be google and apple or maybe facebook as well so just like choose your sign in methods and after that simply just click on this create application and here you can see now we have got this guideline to integrate clerk inside our project the first step is to install this dependency the second step is to use these api keys the third step is to update our middleware.ts file with this code and then inside the layout.tsx file we need to add this code and then we can finally run this command npm run dev to test everything but rather than doing all of this by myself what i'll do i'll simply just copy this prompt from here and now i can simply just paste that prompt inside my kilo code while i have selected glm 4.6 i'll simply just paste that prompt in here press enter and now it will just do the rest it will implement all of those steps first it will analyze our prompt and based on that prompt then it will integrate clerk into our project so right now you can see kilo code using glm 4.6 is analyzing package.json file to analyze all of the packages and the second step was to analyze layout.esx file and then analyze dot kit ignore file and here you can see using glm 4.6 kilo code has just created this to-do list the first step here is to install this clerk dependency the second step is to create dot env dot local file to add those environment variables and then creating this middleware.ts file and then updating layout.tsx file so here you can see the clerk package has been installed already the next step was to create a dot env dot local file that too is created and now kilo code has just created this middleware.ts file and after that it has just 
just updated this layout.tsx file. So here you can see within just no time, it has just completed this task. And now we can just test our clerk integration by simply just running our project npm run dev, press enter. And now let's just run our project and see if it is working or not. I'll simply just open my localhost. Okay, here we go. On this top left, we can see there is this sign in button and then there is this sign up button. If I just click on that sign up button, you can see we have got this clerk login screen. So if I just click on this login with Google and now I can just like use my email address to log in with Google. There is this captcha as well. I'll simply just fill that. And now you can see, I just need to select my email address. And just like that, I am logged in. And here you can see there is this manage account and I'm actually logged in. And there is this clerk interface as well. I can manage my account or delete my account. So this was a real world basic example just to show you that what this model is actually capable of. Similarly, you can use this AI model for your any real world projects. If you have any further questions, just leave your comments in the comment section. I'll see you next video. Bye-bye.